Grow Home is a procedurally animated vertical platforming gameplay adventure in a terrain that you can go anywhere in and do all sorts of crazy stuff in and grow an enormous crazy plant. It's the story of a little robot called Bud who's sent out into deep space on a mission to save his planet by finding giant oxygenating plants so that you can then harvest the seeds and send them back to your home planet. Grow Home started with just one programmer experimenting with procedural animation. Instead of animating a character, you build a physical skeleton with joints and muscles and you teach it how to stand. So when you push the character forwards in the game, the game's actually shoving that physical body forwards and the arms and legs are just trying to keep up to keep balance. That gives you a real emotional connection to the character, something really magic because you recognize in it a real life learning to walk. It looks like a real character. We thought, well, we can make something out like of this. Let's, let's, make, let's make a whole game around this concept. Let's take the technology and make something that's interactive and interesting and fun and have an adventure with him. So we experimented with that, gave him props to play with, balls and toys. But very quickly, the most exciting thing we found is that you can grab the actual environment and pull yourself around. And that's how we discovered our climbing mechanics. But we needed something else. We needed something to actually make it into a game. And we were allowed that time because we were a very small team, which meant that we could be put in the corner of an office and allowed to tinker like some kind of mad scientist in a lab. So we tried lots of different things. We tried adding creatures. We tried, uh, you know, we tried in incorporating them more strongly into the game. We tried uh, lot of different islands, different places to go, other areas to other areas to explore. We knew that we had a little character that, that felt very childlike and innocent, and so we wanted to reflect that in the way that the game felt. We knew it would need to be a bright, enticing environment. But it was at the point at which we de developed and discovered this beanstalk like this plant idea that you would grow, that everything started to become cohesive and become clear about where it was you were going to take an adventure, where you could really grow an adventure to somewhere interesting. The early version of the star plants uh, actually grew in front of the player. So what you did is you grew a section of the plant and then you climbed on it. And we're in danger of making a game which was all about climbing at that point. And that could have led to fatigue, you know, to players. So we decided that uh, the player would actually grasp onto the end of the plant and ride it. And that colorfully became known as riding the dragon during development. The player can create whatever shapes and, and roots and, uh, and, and draw in the sky. You can write your name in the sky with, with this beanstalk, this giant plant. Looking back at what it is we've created, I think we've made a, a game that's unique. I know everybody says, you made, oh, you've made a unique game. I've made a unique game. What I mean is we've made something that doesn't exist anywhere in any other combination of genres. We've made something where it's this charming, approachable adventure in a world that you're creating. So I'm really looking forward to players venturing out and seeing their smile, really capturing that spirit and childlike quality of play. So Grow Home is a procedurally animated third-person action adventure with extreme gardening elements.